The beginnings of the tenement problem in Dublin can be traced back to the huge oversupply of housing. On one hand, we've got huge building in the 1700s, huge investment, but then we have absolutely no building really from say the 1820s, 1815, 1820 onwards. So we've got a huge um, old housing stock and no new building. And simultaneously with that, we have the out-migration of the better off to the suburbs, to the new townships and to the nice fresh air of Clontarf and Hoth on the north side, to Ballsbridge and Marion on the south side. So we've lots of the better off and the middle classes and those who are aspiring to be middle class who are moving out to the suburbs and abandoning the urban core. So here in the city then we have the large family houses that are built for one family being subdivided into multiple units and occupied by lots and lots of families. The real problem with the housing is that one house, family house, is converted to multiple use, but there isn't really conversion. They simply break up the house into individual rooms, they still have one toilet, um, usually a dry clo closet in the backyard, and uh, of course you don't have the staff to keep the place clean as you would have had in a grand, um, when the house was a grand family house. So the sanitary accommodation that was designed for one family is totally inadequate for the multiple occupancy. So what we have in the city then are lots and lots of family dwellings being reused by the poor who want to be in the city centre, want to be as close as possible to work opportunities within reach of any chance of work. So one problem, as I said, is the abandonment of the good housing by the well-to-do as they move to the suburbs. The other problem is the vast immigration of people into Dublin. So Dublin City is like a magnet for the dispossessed. Dublin City is where there's opportunity, or at least where people perceive there's opportunity. There's lots of people who didn't make it in England who get washed up on the shores of Dublin Bay. They arrive back in the city, they don't return to their country origins, they stay in the city swelling the vast numbers of poor. So you have lots of people, as I say, coming back from England uh, or who maybe intend going overseas and don't get that far, who are adding to the population of the city.